eventually going to need to add some additional fields. So here's a quick introduction to how that's done. What you do is you start at the Setup menu. And the Setup menu, uh, what you're trying to get to is the Object Manager. Uh, and there's a couple ways to get there. You can enter Object Manager here. What it'll do is to point you to the fact that there's also an Object Manager here in, in Salesforce. Again, there's a, if you click on this one, this will actually take you to the Object Manager. So lots of ways to get there. But this tab is probably the simplest. Now, if we're adding a field, uh, especially in the... The, the, for the contacts, originally they start out as a lead, so it's important that the same fields exist in the lead record that we're going to migrate through conversion to the contact record. So I'm going to be building this in, uh, in the contact record, but know that you also need to build it in the leads as well to mirror it there so that you can have it. Uh, so in this case, I enter and I've got contact and contract. So I want contact. And then what I'm going to be looking at is the fields uh, and relationships. I'm then going to click New. And what I'm going to be doing, there's first thing is there's a great help set. So if you ever have any questions about fields, go to help because they can, can really walk you through what each of these things mean. But let's just start with a checkbox, because that's a simple kind of binary field. Uh, and in this case, what I'm going to do is to add it as required service. Now, this is if you've got someone uh, from a volunteer perspective that, uh, that needs to, um, these are volunteers with uh, service requirement requirement. And so this may be, um, this could be high school kids, it could be, you know, court mandated, but the idea, this is going to give you an, an eye, so I just want to show you how that works. Descriptions are great because this says kind of why it was created and, and who created. Well, I guess it's, it'll show up, you know who, but in the meantime, it's good, good information to have. Uh, next step is to establish the security, so which profile should be able to, to uh, make changes and which one should only be able just to look at it or those that shouldn't see it at all. Then uh, this is the layouts that you need to add it to. Uh, for, for now, we're going to add it to all of them, but know that uh, that's, we're going to have a whole discussion about layouts, so I'll kind of watch for that. Uh, save and new, this would be just again a quick review just to know that there's lots of other fields that you can work with. Uh, we're going to come back in the next video and talk about pick lists. But for now, let's cancel that. The other thing you can look to is, as it, again, this is in the object manager for contacts. This shows you information about what these fields are. So best gift year is a 16-character is a currency with two decimal places. You'll see a C following any custom fields. So that's worth noting as well. Uh, so just to confirm that that took, let's look at um, a contact record. And so let's say, uh, let's look at Debbie's. Um, and what we want to do is to look at our contact details and look and find, in fact, there is a retired required service checkbox that's now here. And we can float and see this is volunteers and service requirements. This is where we put it. You can edit it, again, using Object Manage. You can change these eyes for anything you want to. You know, Salesforce is very you know, friendly and, and flexible in terms of information you can share. Good luck with it.